Okay, so there was a lot of buzz about this matchup between you and Ja Morant, having a bird versus magic type feel. Why do you think this one didn't quite live up to the hype? Because I got outplayed. People hype up these games and it gets people excited, gets people buying jerseys, tickets, tuning in, and it's our job to deliver and give them something worth coming back for. I didn't do that. I'm just happy our team was able to pull out the victory, and I'd like to assure everyone out there that I'll play better next time. Like I said, I'm here as a fan. I love watching you hoop, man. I appreciate that, bro. Especially coming from somebody like you. <laughs> now, I know you got a lot of people in your ear. Oh, shoot. Here we go. <laughs> I knew it was coming. What you got, man? What you want me to I'm do? I'm not trying to get anything from you. Don't worry. All right. You sure you want me to invest in some kind of once-in-a-lifetime opportunity? I didn't hurt it all, bro. I'm done. I'm tapped out. <laughs> no, and not, no more money, not bro. Not even a little bit, man. No. I'm trying to keep you focused. Matter of fact, I got a little challenge for you. All right. Yo, MP, if I were you, here's what I'd be working on. Jaws gonna try to cook you after losing the last one. MP, MP. Look alive out there. There's the man of the hour. Go get him, MP. At 
guard, 6'5", number one, Devin Booker. At the other forward position, standing 6'11", number 35, Kevin Durant. the shooting guard position, standing six foot two, number 22, and Welcome everyone, it's time for NBA action, coming to you live on this Saturday night. With Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony alongside, I'm Kevin Harlan at the table, and from the sidelines, it's our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. Look at the opening lineup for the Memphis Grizzlies. In at the guard spots, Morant and Bain. Jaron Jackson is out there with Jackson, and it's Williams at the three. And for Phoenix, they've got MP. Allen is out there with Durant. Then there's Devin Booker, and it's Nurkic in at the five down low. It has been a strange year for a few teams that thought they started a little stronger, Greg. Yeah, what you see on paper coming into the season, that means very little until you're put to the test. But these teams have time to make adjustments in their schemes and personnel. And we'll see MP facing off with John Morant here in this one. MP has some momentum going here, having won the first Jared time these Jackson two teams Jr. met. The first word that comes to my mind with John Morant, explosive. He's quick and he's fast. And anytime John can throw down a crazy dunk and fire up the entire city of Memphis. You want to limit John's driving ability, turn him into a jump shooter. Of course, that's easier said than done. And MP and company are hoping to duplicate the success they had in their last matchup against this team. But they have to be prepared for adjustments from the opposition. Inside. And Morant throws it down. Oh, he's got some hops. Morant, this man loves to attack the rim whenever he gets the chance. And when I mean any chance, I mean any chance. Great for a franchise like Memphis, is there a specific way they have to build? Through the draft. Uh, I mean, they aren't going to get the huge A-list free agents, so you have to hit on your picks. You also have to keep your guys happy. Sign them to smart extensions. Just two to shoot. Allen's shot is off. And here's Moran. He'll bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. They come into this one following the loss to the Mavericks. I'll tell you, they played hard. They drew fouls, but they could not convert at the line. Leaving point at the free throw line can take the edge off of a team. You're playing physical, you're playing hard, and it's just not paying off. Jackson, first personal foul. First team foul. against Williams. And Nurkic has it in the corner. Here's KD. Lays it up off the glass. Look at Durant utilizing his length, snatching the offensive board. Ladies and gentlemen, he's seven foot and sending it right back. And here's Morant. He's coming off a 10-point game against Dallas. And how about the vision he displayed? Great job getting others involved and piling up the assist. Now here's Booker. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. A three from MP. Rebounded by Jackson. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Bain against Booker. The kick out to Williams. Off target from outside. And KD's got the ball here for Phoenix. Trailing by two. MP outside. Jackson against Booker. Passes to Nurkic. Shot clock at six. From deep. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Hard to stop Durant when he's set up like this. He's so well positioned to score. Richard, it's absolutely amazing what Durant can do on the floor on a consistent basis. He's got the height and the size to play inside, the skill to run the offense. He's just a freak out there. 
Now here's Jackson. They've been leaning on him for a decent chunk of their offense. He's averaging over 15 points a game. It's Allen on the wing. He's guarded by Williams. Allen passes to Nurkic. Fires the three. Another three for Phoenix. The confidence that Durant has in his three-point shot is something special. He doesn't doubt his selections at all. So timeout called here. The first for Memphis. They're trying to stem the tide here. On the wrong side of a scoring run here, we might see a lineup change. I'll, I'll be pretty curious. Suns here with a different look. Eubanks, he's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. O'Neal comes in for Kevin Durant. Eric Gordon, he's checked in for Grayson Allen. And Beal subbed in for MP. Fourteen left to play in the first. Here's Stevens. And just miss after miss right now. Suns lean by four. Beal finds Booker. Offline with his three. The Grizzlies have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Clark outside. Here's Smart. Hands it from downtown. Marcus smart. The smart can be a difference maker from deep. Doesn't always shoot the best shots, but he's got the confidence to knock them down. Oh, here's Gordon. A floater. That's no good. Misses his first shot of the night. Kennard against Beal. Outside for Smart. 20 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Jackson has the open look, and it's off from three-point range. Outside, Beal. Booker outside. Beal, long-range jumper. That's the kind of shot this offensive scheme is meant to produce. Here's Stevens. Good and smart gets the assist. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You train a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Phoenix ahead, up by one. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. Close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Suns. They've really been dialed in from deep. This is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside shooting ability. And it seems they've also put an emphasis on moving the ball, working to rotate around the defense and find those quality looks. So the Grizzlies five right now. Clark is out there with Jaron Jackson. Then it's Marcus Smart. Then it's Luke Kennard. And it's Stevens in a Caprice. Smart misses. Oh, I can see some miscommunication on defense there very clearly. They were super fortunate it didn't torch them with that mistake. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldrin. Thank you all, guys. Kevin Durant is dedicated to his craft, of course, but he relishes his connections off the court as well. He says, there's so much you can learn from being an NBA player. Life lessons basketball, the business around the league. Every stop around the way is an experience for me to accelerate and be better in the next part of my life. Kevin? Boy, that's great perspective, isn't it? David, thank you so much. The way the league is now, Greg, on any given night, we sometimes see a team fall flat. Is it just luck of the draw? 
sometimes players are tired and sometimes they relax. You know, this is why leadership is so vital. Setting that standard for others to follow. If the defense lets him inside, he will not hesitate. He'll gladly drop that thing right in the cup. KD finds Eubanks. Here's Beal. And the rebound by Jaron Jackson. For Memphis, they've gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Back to Kennard. Clark dishes to Smart. Some nice passing there by Memphis. Left side, Jackson. Five on the clock. Clark for three. That doesn't go, and he's 0 of 1 from the field. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. He's cooled down a little bit after draining those two three-pointers in the first quarter. Now, Kennard, after the miss three from KD. And the call is going to be, yes, yes, it is, an illegal screen. So when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. you got to blow the whistle when it's that obvious. Great call there by the official. Catching up on the changes for Phoenix. Norkic checked in for Eubanks. Allen comes in for Royce O'Neal. MPs checked in for Gordon. And it's Devin Booker in for Bradley Beal. Now here's Durant. This came out 36 points for him. MP kicks to Booker. Pass to KD. He wants to get it to Nurkic and does. There's the triple. And there's Booker on the assist by Nurkic. Nurkic has got his third assist on the night. The Grizzlies trail by four. Jackson set the pick here for Rose. Over Booker. That one off the back iron and out. And so Booker will bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. Only given up two points this quarter. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. That's a shrewd move by MP. Getting inside and drawing the whistle on the shot. The Suns shooting their first free throws here for the night. Two shots. No good on that. And what you appreciate about MP is how even keeled he is. He's someone his guys love playing with. Bowl, he's checked in for Kevin Durant. And he sinks the second. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. And a wide open look for Bain. Oh, good with the triple. You know what, though? Sometimes you be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Ball kicks to Allen. There's 117 left to play here in the second quarter. Trains it from beyond the arc. It works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now here's Morant. He's an offensive force, averaging nearly 26 points a game. One of the most dynamic passers to enter this league in a while. Morant, this man is in full control of the offense. Morant against MP. Forty-six seconds left in the first half of basketball. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Sharon Jackson. He's checked in for Memphis. Checking in for the Grizzlies. Number 13, Jaron Jackson Jr. The Grizzlies trail by five. Morant passes to Bain. Morant with the screen on Booker. Bain for three. It's hauled in by MP. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. 
There's 18 seconds left to play in the first half. Lock at six. Goes up on the wing. Nurkic and finished off by Nurkic. Love watching Nurkic set hard screens and then roll with purpose. Great job in the creativity here from the pick and roll. Now here's Moran for three. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. The Suns lead by seven. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. Hey folks, welcome to the Halftime Show. A lead right now in this one for the Phoenix Suns. The rebounding numbers tell the story. Watching this team first half, they look like five hungry shacks. Ooh, I'm trying to picture Ernie. Five hungry shacks in one room at one time. Oh, the buffet table is obliterated. Did you say obliterated? <laughs> I think I know what you mean. And now it's time to bring up the Players of the Month in the NBA. Out in the East, Joel Embiid. The big man, Joel Embiid. Just so patient with his moves and decision making now. His combination of size and feet work are incredible. He has that Akeem Olajuwon gene. Looking for him to win this award many more times to come. Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it to Kevin Harlan for the start of the second half. We've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. We've seen Kevin Durant really having a great game. Man, he's been running wild on him through that. 